What is going on Guardians? Evade here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have an easy guide here on how to obtain the Thorn in Destiny 2 Season of the Drifter DLC. So if you're interested in what this hand cannon is all about, maybe it's the perks, maybe it's the lore behind it, perhaps you need some assistance on how to acquire it, we're going to talk about all of that so stay tuned for more. Alright Guardians, so the first step to acquiring this quest in the first place is going to happen in the EDZ. So go ahead and load into the Trossland, follow my location above the salt mines right here, and pick up the quest itself in a pile of ashes. Next up we have step 2 where we have to gather Hadronic Essence. So the nice thing about this Thorn quest is that Bungie has taken in the feedback of all of us Guardians regarding PvE and PvP, so if you don't like playing Crucible you won't have to for this quest, and you have some different options at your disposal. So for this step 2 Hadronic Essence you can get these by completing bounties from Asher Mir and Io, by defeating Warlocks in the Crucible, or by completing Nightfall Strikes. Now the Nightfall Strikes will grant the most efficient progress, but this is totally up to you and you have some options here which is very nice. I hang it in a place of honor. If it's been destroyed, bring me the ashes. I have constructed an urn for them. For step 3 and 4, it's kind of the same, you're gathering more materials, but for step 3, we need Plasteel Plating by completing bounties for Sloan on Titan, by defeating Titans in the Crucible, or by completing encounters in the Blindwell. Heroic Blindwell encounters will grant the most efficient progress. So my best tips for these couple of steps where you have to do activities like blind while escalation protocol and nightfalls is to pick up the bounties for those specific planets along with it. So if you're on Mars doing escalation for example, pick up the bounties from Anna Bray, although they only give you 5%, it's going to help you a little bit, and it's definitely going to save you some time. If you're doing it all on that day, you can get 15% just done with those three bounties, and you'll be good to go for the rest of the quest steps. Step 4, we need to gather Sapphire Wire by completing bounties for Anna Bray on Mars, by defeating Hunters in the Crucible, or by completing an Escalation Protocol wave. Now of course, those waves will grant the most efficient progress as well. So for the next step, you will need to go into the Crucible, so some of you may not like this, but it doesn't seem too difficult and it can be done in both competitive or quick play, which is very nice. So for this step, you gotta defeat Guardians in the Crucible using Void Energy or Hand Cannons. Precision streaks using these void hand cannons will grant the most efficient progress, but you can do whatever you want. Say you don't want to use a hand cannon, you can use void energy, or you can use the last word if you wish. It is also noted that progress will be multiplied if you do Iron Banner or in competitive crucible matches if those are available for you. After that we are required to visit Tyrakarn at the farm, which is pretty funny because this step tells you where the farm is, because most people have probably forgot about this place by now, but here's what she had to say. And the last step here is doing a reprised version of the Sabathun's song Strike on Titan. So we gotta defeat Arbiters Saradev and Talesh, probably said that wrong, and then complete the strike to get your thorn. Anyway Guardians, hope this video helped you out, hope you enjoy your new thorn, and we're gonna take a look at some of its perks right now, show you some gameplay, and then the video is going to end. 
But if you'd like to see more videos just like this one and want to dive into the lore behind these weapons and characters, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, my name's Evade and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one. These locks are brand new. The Hive must have just sealed this door. Heads up, Caliban. We show Fallen inbound toward your current position. their rituals through death and sacrifice. If you cannot find a way forward, there is no shame in retreat. Far better to save your light for another battle than be consumed by the Hive. We understand, but we agreed to this mission. No one's backing down. Commander, are you there? Get away from him! I won't let you transform him! I've got a lock on that transmission. Let's go. Taliban, do you copy? Taliban! Copy. <laughs> the broadcast came from this room. Where's that guardian? This <laughs> thing was full of void light. Hello. Is anyone in here? We're here to help. This doesn't add up. Where's that guardian?